Welcome back to Biostock Live and our last presentation of this edition of Biostock Live, and that will come from Invent Medic and CEO Cohen Bruder. Welcome, Cohen. Thank you. Um, yes, welcome to Invent Medic. Uh, we are situated here in Lund, and then we have an office in Stockholm. So, what do Invent Medic do? Well, we're in femtech or women's health. We develop and market products throughout women's life. Just some quick facts. So the company started with the development program at 2018 and were listed 16 at the Spotlight stock market. Current market cap is about 100 million. So our first product is a marketed product in 10 European markets and that's a medical device. So we are certified to develop medical devices. The revenue 2020 was about 1.5 million. This is not a single product company and we have a pipeline and the second product will be released later this year. So Femtech, what is that? Well, women's health. That has been emerging market for a couple of years now. And here you can see the funding activities throughout the last three years. Even if 2020 was a very strange year, it was at least 240 deals made in this area and about 1.6 billion US dollar invested in the area. The brand map you see there can be divided into special um, pieces where menopause is one, menopause of women and wellness and so forth. We have our two products that will cover women in these three categories, or maybe four. So it menopausal women and postnatal wellness and period health. So now to our first product. It's a product for stress-induced urinary incontinence or SUI. What is that? Well, that's a urine leakage when you cough, laugh, have some high pressure from the abdominal. So when your pelvic is good, it works, or when your pelvic floor is not, you're gonna leak. That's caused by a lot of things, but the most common one or the most known one is of course pregnancies and vaginal deliveries. A lot of women get this. One out of five actually reports that they do have uh, leaks every week. But this is a problem you never talk about, ever. Not with your neighbor, not with your partner, not even with your phys physician or healthcare provider. Only 25% reports that they will talk to their healthcare profession about the problem. What do they do then? Well, they use pads or clothes that kind of seek up the leakage. That doesn't help. It just kind of fixed the problem for the moment, but you can still feel very uncomfortable. There are two ways maybe to get uh, the problem um, fixed. It's either by pelvic exercises that can reduce your leakage, or maybe get your uh, pelvic in a, in a uh, workable shape, <coughs> workable form, the pelvic floor, I should say, not the pelvic. But instead, if you do the exercising and it doesn't really work, you can have a surgery. This is not for everyone. Not everyone can do it or want to do it. And the exercises, you have to do that all through life and you will have to use pads in the meantime. There is a small category of vaginal products that is called bladder supports. This helps, it makes you that you do not leak, but it do not fix the problem. Our product, first product, is a bladder support. It's Ephemia bladder support. It is a very soft product. It's self-manageable. It has clinically proven. It's reusable for three months and it comes highly recommended from the users and the healthcare profession. Why is our better than others then? Or why is it so good? Well, we've developed it 
um, with the same background as the surgery uh, method. Where in the surgery, you put them in a sling between uh, the vagina, vagina and the urethra in the vaginal wall. The width of the sling is the same as the width between our supporting rings and the stem and the handle secures the, the support at the same uh, site as the um, surgery sling would be in if you made that. So therefore, it's the same theoretical uh, approach. So using ephemia, will then restore a pelvic floor muscle and ligament perfection. This is then when you leak and you use the ephemia and you do your sneezes and then you're dry. So current potential for uh, ephemia bladder support. Well, these countries we do have distributors in. So if you then calculate on the 25% of the women that will actually ask for help, that makes it 4.2 million women in those areas. So that's our current potential for the market potential for this product. Yes, briefly on our second product, which is a menstrual cup. Menstrual cup area has been rising tremendously the last years. But still, there is a few, there, there is not many using it. In Sweden, there is investigations looking into that it is 20%, some say 10 of menstruating women uses the cup. But still, it's rising, increasing, and it's mostly the younger women that start using a menstrual cup. And they do that because it is sustainable, so they are environmental uh, aware. So if we then ask, which we've done, women in three groups, either the users of cups, the ones that have tested and stopped, or those that say, well, I know I haven't tried. What do they think or what do they want out of a menstrual cup? They want something that is light and soft. They want something that can be used with an applicator. It should be leakage safe and it should be comfortable. So all these criteria and some more were put into a development program. And in a couple of weeks, we're gonna send out the prototypes for testing on 60 women. So you would only see this for a short while because it's on patent uh, application ground and as you could see it's very soft. The market for this if you look at 2017 numbers so if you compare those numbers with the kind of investigations in Sweden it, they don't really fit but it's 27 uh, and the market for the cup has raised a lot and globally the pads are used in more frequent than the tampons. So for us then, our market was these kind of these countries because that's where we have our distributors. All where applicable, the distributors had got the product, the bladder support into the reimbursement system or um, uh, to be uh, prescribed. That is a really good quality check for our product. It's needed and it actually applies for uh, the healthcare system. All the distributors also have their own web shop or be connected to a well-functioning well web, uh, web shop. In Sweden, we've registered for in 10 regions at the moment and we do have retailers such as the pharmacies as well. Who's we targeting if you look into marketing? So we're targeting, uh, of course, with our um, uh, website and with some ads directly to the user. And who is the user of our products? It's active women 
of all ages. They should stay active or they should be reactivated. In that I mean that if you have stopped doing things because you leak or you've stopped doing things because something is uncomfortable, you should be able to be reactivated. And we want everyone with all our products to be safely to do all you want to do. We also have a very strong sense of sustainability as our products are not uh, are reusable. They are reusable and we're going to stay that way. So now into our goals and our targets. We are aiming for this and that is a very fast increasement and do I believe we could do that? Yes, I do. And I do that because we have a very good platform. And we've set the platform now, and 2020 was not a very uh, normal year. So I believe this could happen, that we will increase our revenue in, the, in four or five years with 100 times. So how could you do that? Well, you could, you could go into other markets. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we applied for an FDA approval for the bladder support which means that the US market will be then be in reach. Um, the development of the menstrual cup is of course taking ground in that as well. So it will be uh, possible to register that in, in the US. And also we have the discussions with all the major European markets. We will also of course not be only two products but in four or five years, we will be a lot of more products and we will use the same brand. So a brand awareness will then trigger everyone to know what Ephemia is and what kind of women's health product we stand for. So why should you invest in us? Well, we're in a hotspot of women's health. We're reusable products for sustainability we're protected products with patents, designs, and trademarks. We have dedicated distributors and collaborators. We're a strong team. We've developed this and put us on the market. And we are certified to develop medical device products. We build for the future. So I will end this by looking at three quotes. One is from a user and one is from the healthcare profession and the, second, oh, the last one is from a retailer. I used to travel with an extra bag full of incontinence pads. Well, she doesn't have to do that anymore. We have patients who are offered ephemia while they're waiting for surgery. When we call them, they turn down surgery on the grounds that they are satisfied with the help that ephemia provides. That proves that it works. And we would like everyone that uh, are recommended to do the pelvic exercises to be able to use ephemia. Meanwhile, you don't have to leak while you're fixing the problem. And that goes for the surgery as well. And the last one, I recommended ephemia to a 45 year old woman who bought it and tried it and is overjoyed that she can exercise and run without it dripping in her underwear. That's what we're here for, that's what we want to do, and we're very happy that we could help. Thank you. Thank you, Karin, for a very interesting presentation. What would you say are the most important activities in the company right now? So, uh, the most important ones are, of course, developing the menstrual cup. So we uh, will have a release in the end of the year. Uh, it's also to prepare for every market that is reopening after the COVID pandemic, pandemic of course, um, and prepare us for the introduction in US and for the kind of not set UK market yet. So we're prepared, we're prepared for last year and looking into all the different things that comes from that kind. But also, uh, so it's kind of preparing for markets uh, with the one that, uh, with the uh, product we have, uh, and also then of course the uh, menstrual cup. You talked about being a multi-product company here. If we look a couple of years into the future, how do you see the the product portfolio developing for you? 
Yeah, well, that's interesting because we what we set as uh, we're a uh, women's health company. Uh, we are not a pharma company, so we, we draw the line with pharma. So it's medical device of any any kind, and and it could be uh, other kind of products as well. So um, we're getting input from uh, healthcare professionals what they see is in need and we have also some other ideas so I, I really can't say where it is but it is it is set in that it's reusable a sustainable product it's for getting people or women active and that's really important for us so so I would say there is something something there I mean it could be sports gear and it could be um, vaginal health so I, I see there is a diversity of products, uh, but still in the beginning, we have to stick to Ephemia, so everything will be there. And there, of course, maybe there is a limitation that it will be kind of in, um, intimate health or wellness, so to speak. It could be uh, a different couple of things. And if we focus on just this year, what milestones are you hoping to achieve by the end of this year? Yeah, and that is, of course, to see that our menstrual cup is getting the attention that we want. So our goals are to, to get that uh, and, and to, to have that on the market and, and having a revenue actually on it. So, so that's it's the main um, goal. Um, we talked about FDA a little bit, and, and I know we had an interview earlier on, and, and, and that's kind of a, not a milestone that I could say because I'm, I'm unable to kind of do anything about it. But that kind of my wish that that would be set that we could go into. But the milestone could be that we've had discussion that we have collaborators in the US, even if we can't start kind of having revenue or selling things there. We, could have a, a collaboration. I mean, that's that's two main goals. Well, thank you so much for coming here and telling us about that.